All right, so I'm here. This is VFW Post uh, 8083. We have dropped off the longitude and latitude of where I'll be hiking out into the forest. We're going to be spending the night in the Akala National Forest. We're going to be hiking the Yingling Trail. I've been wanting to make this video. There's the POW flag and the U.S. flag. God save America and praise to the Canadian truckers. Let's get going. So I wanted to show you on the video if you're in the villages or in the Del Web or wherever. So we just came down CR 92, which was uh, this road here. By the way, sheriff's up there, uh, speed trap. <laughs> speed limit's 50 miles an hour. Don't recommend speeding, but you do what you want. But anyway, so here we are. We're gonna turn right on CR 25, okay? And uh, I'll get the name of the town when we get there. Let's get going. Came down 460, came down 25. Uh, this is the uh, Forest Library. 314A, Highway 314A. All right, so right down here is, uh, this is the town. Oh, I didn't even know there was a post office in here. Oh, we dug on. All right, so uh, right here is uh, 464C, okay, or Southeast 135th Avenue. So you're gonna come into town here. There's a little sausage stand, Florida Citizens Bank, and you're just gonna make a left on to 464C. Let's get going. So we came down uh, 464C. This is the Akawaha River, just below the dam. There's the damn diner right up there. Okay, let's get the other side here in one second. Hopefully I won't get run over here. So this is, uh, this is the Akawaha River on the other side. So we are on our way to the Yearling Trail. So right down here is a blinking red light. We're gonna make a left on 314A. Let's get going. Peace out. So I came down, <clears throat> this is 314A. <clears throat> and uh, this is uh, this is a stop for people that live in Marion County. If you, uh, they're very nice bathrooms. You just go in the front door and uh, you can hit the bathroom there. I always point out that out. Uh, just down here is a community center, and uh, we're going to be getting down to, um, I, I think it's SR40. <clears throat> uh, in, in, in Florida, I never know if it's SR or CR, whatever that's supposed to mean. <clears throat> and we're going to be making a right just down here at the stoplight on to 40, and that'll take us over to SR19. I'm not going to, well, we'll stop at that intersection and get another clip on the video. I'm just trying to show you how to get to the Yearling Trail. Uh, by the way, this uh, 314A, is a beautiful drive through the country. Uh, not a single stoplight. Uh, I love driving it. I mean, you just you just feel like you're in the in the, the Florida uh, tundra <clears throat> on this road. Uh, no traffic whatsoever. At least I've never experienced any. And uh, it's just uh, it's it, this is what I like. I mean, just getting to the Yearling Trail is a, actually a beautiful trip. Uh, so let's get on to um, SR40 or CR40 or whatever it is and. Uh, I'll get the next video when we get to uh, SR19. This is Highway 40 East. We just came down that. Uh, well, you can see Ocala's 32 miles that way and uh, Silver Springs. <clears throat> so now we're here at, uh, whoop, excuse me, we're here at uh, 19 and we're gonna go north on 19, okay? Um, so this is gonna take us all the way up. Uh, by the way, there's a uh, wayside there with the restroom we got that on a previous video i'm not going to stop there uh but just past that wayside uh i mean just past that river that's the uh, gosh i can't remember the name of the river but anyway so uh let's let's just get on down 19 and uh we'll be at the trail here shortly all right so this is it uh we're gonna we by the way it's juniper springs i, I, I should this the juniper river i should have known that um, like I said, there was a wayside there where if you need to use the restroom, um, um, by the way, it took about an hour to get here. Uh, so at 350 a gallon, you, you do the math, uh, like I said, you know, please help keep bears wild by not approaching or feeding them. <laughs> so maybe we'll see a bear. I've got the bear spray along. I've got uh, my, my uh, sleeping bag. I've got everything I need. Let's get on the trail. So we got this on a previous video, so I'm not going to read the whole thing, but this is all about the author, uh, 
Marjorie uh, Keenan Rollins uh, was fascinated by the beauty of the island and the colorful life of its inhabitants. She stayed uh, with the last two, Calvin and Mary Long, in October 1933. The yearling, if you ever want to read the book. All right, let's get going. Oh, look, a bear. So we got this on a previous video when I brought the dog here. But I just thought I'd show you. This is kind of, I've been, I'm about one mile into the hike here. And uh, this is kind of what you the trail looks like uh, so it's uh, it's uh, quite beautiful um, but we haven't hit a transition yet but we will be hitting one in fact I think I'm coming up on the spot where I had to turn around with the dog because uh, if there's a trail that moves off to the right right up here uh, that's as far as we got the last time so enjoying the day beautiful day 77 degrees uh, by the way I just wanted to briefly talk about how I'm equipped I've got uh, I got my sleeping bag in case, you know, I'll get bit by a snake or something and I have to stay out here. It's only supposed to get down in the 50s tonight. Uh, so, of course, I got some added clothes, got some water. I brought some trail mix. Uh, it's not open, so hopefully uh, no bear's going to smell it and want to eat my backpack or anything. Um, of course, I got my walking stick. I got the bear spray. Now, I'm not packing. Probably should be because... Uh, we're getting deep, deep, deep into the Kala National Forest. Uh, not a single car in the parking lot because it is during the week. Um, so the next clip I'll get will be once we uh, get to that turn to the right, because uh, you've already seen this before. And uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll, you know, every transition, I'll cut the uh, video back on. I'm um, hoping the settings, I've got the white balance at uh, 5,500. I double checked that. I'll double check the uh, rear, it's that it's on the rear speaker. Um, I thought I checked that last night. Um, so, you know, it seems like uh, every time I get into the settings, I'm like, oh, this one's wrong, that one's wrong. But I think we've got it. And uh, you know, like I said, I'm using linear with uh, horizontal uh, leveling. So it, I like the results from the previous hike. Uh, you, you, if you follow my channel, uh, you've seen the, how that looked. I think it looks a lot more professional than what I was getting with the uh, Samsung Galaxy S21 phone uh, and of course with the previous settings on the GoPro. Now this is the GoPro 9, not the GoPro 10. Now I do want to get the 10 someday, but uh, I'm in no hurry. I'm making good videos with the 9 in my opinion, uh, at least better than, than I've been able to do in the past. All right, let's keep going. So now you're seeing why I'm equipped the way that I am. You know, just to show you, Got the hikers, got the hiking pants on. See how it's, the trail's thinning up here? Uh, this is Jody's trace to the right. Uh, I'm gonna continue straight today. I'm gonna be back uh, tomorrow to hike uh, maybe that trail right there. Um, but uh, I'm a good mile and a half into the hike. i uh, just show you what it looks like. Um, so we've been coming down basically, you know, sandy. Uh, it, it's not too horsey, you know, I mean, it's it's not bad. But you are hiking in the sand, and you can see things are tightening up here. So uh, this look, this this will be interesting. Uh, if it was summertime, you'd probably be getting chiggers and uh, wood ticks and all of that stuff. I think it's been so cold that uh, hopefully they're in, in hibernation or uh, dead, one or the other. Um, so uh, you know, but if you were going to hike this trail, you're definitely going to want hiking pants. I think uh, I wouldn't want to be doing this in shorts. Uh, of course, I got my merino wool uh, uh, t-shirt on and my, another long sleeve merino wool shirt in the backpack. Um, so let's just keep going. We're in virgin territory at this point. We've never been this far on the trail. You can see we're just kind of in a pine forest. So it is a nice transition, uh, what we're seeing here. Um, and you're, you're definitely in, you know, you're deep in the, the Akala National Forest on this trail. You know, it's quite beautiful for sure. But uh, you know, I wouldn't want to be out here at night. Uh, I haven't seen anything, no, no snakes, no, uh, no bears, uh, no deer, hell, not even any birds yet, <laughs> but, but I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the hike very, very much. You can see what I'm seeing. Um, so let's just keep going. So I'm learning the hard way. <laughs> I don't know why the, the GoPro was on the cinematic setting and rather than the standard with the uh, 5500 aperture and uh, had it on the front mic instead of the rear mic. So I imagine my audio is not going to be that great for the first part of this video. 
I swear. I mean, I, I, I spent time last night setting everything. I mean, I, I guess literally you're just going to have to, before you get on a hike, just check the doggone GoPro, make sure everything's set correctly. And, uh, um, but I don't understand how the settings keep, keep getting switched on me. But because um, I'm not doing it, you know, I get them where I want them and then and, and get, get, get the video. But uh, I apologize. So your, your video and audio quality are going to be diminished as a result uh, for the first part of this video. But at least we got it right now because uh, and, and at least you're going to see the virgin parts of the uh, trail here in, uh, in, in a better fashion. All right, let's wait till we get a transition. So I just wanted to get this on the video. You can see it's uh, it's tightened up quite a bit. I mean, that's uh, you wouldn't want to come out here ill-equipped to do this trail, especially not in the heart of the Kala National Forest. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, you know, they uh, the trail could definitely use some maintenance. Uh, but I understand, you know, who's who's going to come all the way out here to to do some work on the uh, yearling trail. But uh, see, look at here. And luckily, I'm short. <laughs> if you were tall, your head your head be in the trees right there. All right, let's keep going. So we came through. Uh, man, I tell you, it's a tight trail. I, if you're tall or uh, fat, <laughs> you're gonna have a hard time hiking this thing. But we're kind of hitting a transition here. Um, you know, I, I I swear sometimes I want to kick myself. Uh, there, is, there is actually a cell phone tower that I've seen in the Ocala National Forest. Now it doesn't have service for me because I'm on the uh, the uh, Google uh, Google Fi plan, probably a Verizon tower, but would have been nice to have brought the cell phone. <laughs> I didn't think about it, you know, because I said, well, there's no cell phone service. What's the point? But I do think there's an emergency uh, mode on the cell phone. Um, now, being this deep in the in the forest, I'm a long ways from the, the tower that I saw uh, way back, so it probably might not even have the emergency mode, but you never know. Would have been nice to have it. So here, here you see, see how you could come back here and just hike around for days and days. This is another offshoot to the trail. I'm just going to keep going straight. Uh, we're only going to get about another hour on the trail today, and then I got to turn around. And uh, like I said, next time we come back, we'll take that right-hand turn, uh, get here a lot earlier. Uh, I was busy uh, doing laundry last night and just uh, getting ready for this hike. Uh, you know, it's a lot of work. I mean, you know, figuring out what you're going to take. And then and even then, you know, sometimes it's best to get a trial run, which is what we did the first time we came, because uh, I had to see what the trail looked like uh, with the dog. And, uh, you know, so I knew that, you know, I want a sleeping bag along in case... Uh, you know, you get bit by a snake or you twist an ankle. Uh, like I said, I realized that I wanted the hikers. Um, but you can see, uh, we're, <laughs> we're way, way the hell back here in the Ocala National Forest. Uh, so far, I haven't seen anything. No snakes, no spiders, no bears, no deer, no birds. But I'll just keep going. Boy, I got to get this on the video. Isn't that insane? That is just gorgeous. Holy moly. You know, nothing off to the right to just see that. But uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, if you go back in my videos, I made my predictions for uh, 2022. Um, I probably maybe put this, uh, well, no, I'll just uh, put another hike as a link on this uh, video. But uh, it seems that, uh, you know, I always try to talk a little bit of news every now and then, uh, not trying to get political here, but. Um, you know, Russia now has uh, Ukraine surrounded on three sides. Uh, and then, you know, Biden's going to waste taxpayer money sending 3,000 troops to Europe for what? You think they're going to go in Ukraine and fight? No, hell no. Those are woke warriors, man. <laughs> they ain't going to do shit. And Putin ain't worried about that. I can guarantee you, you know, I wouldn't be. But look at this, man. Look at this. Holy moly. Man, I feel like it's, uh, it's just uh, in insanely beautiful here. Well, once you get way up the trail like this, uh, boy, I tell you, I do wish I had somebody to hike with. Uh, you know, being out here by yourself, uh, I'm not really scared or anything, but it is kind of dangerous, you know. Something happens, I mean, I am way, way deep in the Ocala National Forest at this point. You know, there's no, there's no recourse, you know. It's not like, uh, well, look at here. I think we got another 
turn that you could take on this trail. There's a post. Let's see, let's see what that's saying. I don't know if that's marking another trail. By the way, if you're a backpacker, there are great places to uh, camp along this trail. Now, I don't know what the point of that post is. I don't see another trail. Maybe just a mark that you're on the trail. All right, well, let's, let's keep going. But man, look at that. Let's get the sunlight on there. That is uh, just outstanding. Wow, what a hike, what a hike.